Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video blog from attorney Jeff Goldtrap. Today will be a very brief blog, and the, uh, the subject matter is jail calls. Now you think, what, you know, is this a technical lesson about telephones? No, it's about jail calls, calls that are made from a jail to you, uh, the loved one of the inmate. Now, it's very important that you remember that each one of the jails in this area, in Davidson County, in Wilson County, in Williamson, Cheatham, Sumner, Montgomery, any of the counties, all of them have telephones that the inmates may use to contact loved ones, family members, attorneys, whomever. Remember this, when those calls are made, they begin with a little recording that says, this call is being recorded. And believe me, the call is being recorded. Do not repeat, do not have a, have a telephone conversation with your loved one and say, Johnny, did you really do it? Don't, don't do that because Johnny will respond one way or another. Let's say Johnny says, oh no, I didn't do it. I was somewhere else. That's potentially useful information to the other side to the state that may very well listen to this at some point. Now, the district attorney is not going to pull every jail call ever made by your client who is charged with stealing you know, $200 from a local store. But if your client, if your loved one is charged with a vehicular homicide, your loved one is charged with a first or second degree murder, your loved one is charged with a serious sex crime, there is every possibility that the defense attorney is going to get recordings from the district attorney that are jail calls. In 20 plus years of representing persons accused of crimes, I can tell you I've heard all sorts of things on jail calls. Yeah. Hey, we need to bring money to someone so that they will say that I wasn't in town on that day. Do not get on the phone call if, you're, if your loved one is call, talking to you and discuss how we're going to produce a witness who will lie. Hi, I'm on work release and the gun is, is under the bush on the left outside the, the you know, candy store or whatever where I work. Folks, you could be listening to this and think, well, that's made up, that's just fairy tales, because that wouldn't be, nobody would do something that stupid. Guess what? They will do something that stupid. So here's, so you say, Jeff, how can I help? This is how you can help. Ring, ring, the phone rings, you pick up the phone, and it's Johnny in jail, and he says, hi, mom, I miss your good home cooking, I miss you, love you, how's the family? And tell them, talk to them, because jail is a very lonely, scary place. So talk to them, encourage them, make them feel better about the circumstances and tell them to, that know, to know everything's going to be okay. Then they say, Mama, I, I, I didn't do this. Let me tell you about the crime. Stop them right there. Say, Johnny, you've got a lawyer. Or maybe you don't have a lawyer. In that case, call 254-1471. Let's get on that case. But Johnny, you've got a lawyer, and you don't need to talk to anybody about this case except your lawyer. And why is that, Jeff? Because there is attorney-client privilege. You can come to my office and say, I shot John. I shot him dead in a mackerel. I meant to shoot him, and I buried him under the oak tree in the backyard. Guess what? I don't tell anybody anything, and I can't be forced to tell anybody anything. That's attorney-client privilege. Now, get on the phone with Mama. Mama, oh yeah, you wouldn't believe it. You know, I didn't like John, never did like him. And I saw him walking across the street when nobody was looking, and I shot him, and I drug him in the backyard and buried him under the oak tree, uh, you know, by the, by the doghouse. The next thing that happens is the police are going to be out over at the oak tree by the doghouse digging it up looking for John. Folks, the lesson today is about jail calls. The answer, the, the, the lesson I want you to learn 
is A, don't make them. If you can, sit in jail quietly without bothering anybody, please do it. If you have to call, when you call your loved ones, do not discuss things about the case. Okay? Jail calls, do not discuss the case. Jail calls, how's mama and the kids? That's great. That's a beautiful thing. Talk about mama and the kids. Jail calls, let me explain what happened, mama. <clears throat> Don't do that. Today's lesson is about jail calls. Don't make them. If you're in jail, if your loved one is in jail, they need an attorney. Call me, 615-254-1471. If I can help you, I will. If you can't call me, call somebody. Call your local public defender's office. Call a local district, a, a, a not a district attorney, heaven's sakes. Call a local attorney. Get somebody on this case and help you out. Have a great day. Nope.